beginner's first lesson. So let's just set the scene. So we're going to pretend I'm like 17. Yep. Bit of a stretch. But it's my first ever lesson. I've ridden a moped um, before. I work here and you're going to start the lesson from here and go. You've got your plan. Yep. We haven't really discussed your plan. You're going to deliver it. Then we can just stay and roll. Come If you want to come out roll, just come out. We can always, if you get stuck, yeah. don't worry. You're not, this isn't a test. This is the first lesson that you've done. You've gone away and planned it. So it's your very first lesson and you're just going to have a go at putting it all together. Okay. Happy days. <coughs> so yeah, so just to say, you know, set the seat. I've just jumped in. I haven't put my seatbelt on nothing yet. I have turned my phone off though. Yep. And put it in away in or I put it in your little whatever I'm supposed to put it. But yeah, so um we're all done. Okay. So yeah, whenever you're ready you can start. <sighs> Hello Howard. You alright? I'm Mitchell. Oh, you alright? Yeah, good. Right, yeah, good. <laughs> been looking forward to today. Good. Right. So, what we're going to do now is quickly go over our plan for today, our yeah. lesson. Yeah. And this is your first lesson. Yeah. Do you have any experience before with um, on the road? On the road, yeah. but not, I've never driven a car. Okay. But I have been on the road, like on so you, push bikes yeah. and um, like moped. Yeah, so you have a base against that and foul yeah. the road works. Okay. I know we drive on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah. So I did my CBT. Yeah. So I had to do that with my moped. Okay. So yeah, that was all right. That was quite good fun. That's good. So you know, you know the basics. Yeah. Right. But it was, a, it was a twist and go. No gears. No gears. I want to learn, I want to do like yeah, manual. No problem. Yeah. So today we'll be running through the basics. We'll be going over the responsibility of the driver, the instructor, and passengers. Yeah. Um, we'll do the cockpit drill, how to get the car ready. All right, yeah. 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 And um, we'll go over observations oh, before right. we move away. Brilliant. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. I'm going to drive to a quiet location. Yeah. And instead of me just driving there, I'm going to do a bit of commentary driving. Yeah. So as I drive away and drive to the location, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I didn't expect you to remember everything or. All right, yeah. Yeah, just oh, so yeah. you know, we were doing something on the way there. So we're doing something. All right, yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah. Right. Take as much notice as possible. And All right, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. Right. Do you want me to hold them for you? Yes, please. Thank you. Is it clutched on? Yeah, it's clutched down on this car to start. Okay. Right, so now I'm preparing my car. Oh, do you know what? I haven't got my seatbelt on. Oh, I should do that. Yeah, that's right. please. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I forgot that. Too busy listening. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm preparing the car to move off. Right. And then I'll start my observation. Start from the left as I'm moving off to the right. Okay. So look over my shoulder, check the left mirror, top mirror, right mirror. Move my shoulder and move away. Come up to a turn, so I check my top mirror and left mirror because I'm turning left. Oh, right, okay. Well, it's a nice old day, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. The sun's come out. I was glad I didn't want to do my lesson in the rain or anything. <laughs> I was quite pleased when I saw it's sunny today. I'll be glad to get off my um off my moped. Yeah, it's the window, it's horrible it's in the window. Get a car, it'll be lovely. Have you started your theory? No. No. 
but I think I saw on your website there's like an app or something you can get an app to help me with the yep. theory theory side of things which that'd be good yeah so we turn the right around about so we'll check the top mirror and the right mirror and then our signal quite a common mistake is people signal before they check their mirrors All oh, right. What a signaling then check the mirrors. Yes, that's what people do wrong quite often actually. All oh, right, I'm probably one of them. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to if you're going over, do you? Check to your right, see if it's clear. No cars benefit from a signal. Turning right at this roundabout, so I've got in lane in good time. Check my mirrors again. We always pull off in first. We come to a stop. Okay. Top left mirror. Come off. I need a left lane, so I'll check the top and the left. Look over my shoulder. See it's clear. I was a bit worried because I was thinking, well, where, where I work is just quite busy. I was worried yeah, about having to we don't want to check you in the deep end. I <laughs> had nightmare about having to deal with this. <laughs> so I was thinking, oh, I wonder where we'd be going. So, so we're just going to go somewhere. We'll go to a nice, quiet, residential area. Nice and quiet. All right, oh, that's good. We don't want you to deal with roundabouts or things like that. We want to build you up. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Because I, um, yeah, that would be. Uh, just what I need. So I've never, I've never driven a car at all. A bit worried about all the gears and yeah. the clear, the taps <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go through everything though. Yeah. Not at a time. What are these pedals down here? Right. So when you're ready to drive, I'll be on the passenger side, and then my dual controls. So I'll break in a clutch. Yeah, you've got two. Yeah, I don't need it to the rest. So if it only I'll only ever use them in an emergency. So I shouldn't touch them? Never touch them. <laughs> Alright, no. I just sort of my foot just sort of banged into it. I just Sorry, thought, what's I that? Explain that. Which top of my right. Yeah, not used to seeing pedals down when yeah. I'm a passenger. Just a bit of security for both of us. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, I bet you do need them quite a lot, do you, when you teach him? Um, sometimes. I'm trying, um, if it's a dangerous situation, we always have to step in. Alright. We always try and stick to left lane. Especially as, a, yeah, especially as a learner driver. Why is that? The right lane's normally for overtaking. Oh, right. 
and as we're learning, we still make mistakes. People get annoyed. <laughs> but once you build your confidence up, there's no problem using the right lane. But... Oh, that's great. Air conditioning's cold, it's really. Yeah. Do you mind if I turn it down yeah. a little bit? I've um. Sorry, take it out of your car. It's just, um, it's like an Arctic <laughs> blast <laughs> coming at me. I think I've missed a turn. I'm coming out wrong. Okay, <laughs> round the roundabout back. Yeah. I thought this is going to be interesting. Why? Right, okay. So, yeah, you have. <laughs> I think. I know where I would have gone. Yeah. And um, yeah, you missed your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking where are we get right, I'm in roll then. But I'll tell you where the right is in case you don't know. Is this where we're gonna? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Nice, quiet road. Yep. Nice and straight, lovely. Right. Do you want yeah. this? Yes, please. Thank you. Right, what I'm gonna go over quickly now is the responsibilities of the driver. So you will be the driver. Yeah. You have the main instruments, you have your pedals, the steering wheel, indicators and the gears. Um, I'm here to help you, I have the dual controls as well. Yeah, so it's a shared, yeah. a shared responsibility. You Why you only got two? I've got, there's three area that's Yeah, right. so you have the clutch, brake and gas, I have the clutch and brake. So in emergencies we need to stop, oh, no. I'll stop us. Okay. So you don't um, got a, a, what do you call it, a gas pedal? Gas pedal, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're caught speeding, points go into your license to see what? you're aware. <laughs> what? Oh, that's my first lesson. I don't want to speed. No, you'll be surprised yeah. how many people do. Really? Yeah. Oh. But just so you're aware, it's your responsibility. Obviously, yeah, I will tell you. Help me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, oh, right. it's a shared yeah, it responsibility. Is. We're here to help each other. Um, but it is shared. You yeah. have responsibility as well for the car and the passengers and other road users. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh. So what we'll do is we'll swap the seats yeah. and then we'll go through the cockpit drill. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. let's get started. I've got a visual guide to help us with this as well. All right, yeah. People learn differently, but sometimes seeing it visually helps people. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. So we have a system we do. There's still a bit on. Uh, not just yet. Oh, okay. We have a system of what we do when we first get into a car. It's called a pocket drill. It stands it's D S S S M. It stands for D -S -S doors. D S S M. Yeah, D S S M. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's doors, seats, steering, ste seat belts, and mirrors. Right. Okay. So when we get into the car, yeah, the first thing we check are the doors. Make sure they're closed. Most modern cars have an indicator will go off if the door's not closed properly. Okay, yeah. Yeah, my mum's car's got... Yeah, most modern if cars. If the door's not shut, it was them. Um, it makes a noise. And yeah, still, there's a warning light. She said someone's door's open. Yeah, like, yeah. If you had an old car, it might not have that. But oh, um, yeah. it's something we always check first. Um, what do you think could happen if we don't check the doors closed and it's ajar? You could start out with four people and get back with two. I don't know, lose someone out the back. Yeah, yeah cause I'm a fall the car out. can come, uh, the sorry, the door could go flying open as you're driving off. Oh, God. That'd you be dangerous. That. Yeah. Right, next thing we, we go over is a seat. So, underneath your seat, on the left, just here, you yeah. can adjust your seat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what we check for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Not That's bad. how we adjust our seat. Yeah, got it. And we adjust it. Yeah, you so, do that, didn't you? Yeah. So we adjust it so we can reach the pedals quite comfortably. Okay. So if you, um, the clutch is on your left, far left. Clutch? Yeah. Or is that that one? Yeah. If yeah. you put it all the way to the floor. Yeah. Does that feel comfortable for you? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It was pretty comfy. Yeah. So we do this. So as we're driving, we get all we get our seat ready. So as we're driving, we're in a comfortable state. So oh, everything's right, yeah. easy to access. If you can't push down on the pedals, yeah, obviously you can't operate them correctly. You can push the other pedals. Yeah. All comfortable. Yeah. Well, Lovely. I don't know. Maybe the right pedal feels a bit close. Shall I go close. back up Yeah. Go back a little bit then. Oh, is it back on here? Yeah. That's it. Oh, so the right one's the what is it called? That gas. The gas yeah. one. That's better. That feels a bit better actually, the right pedal, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Next we check the steering. So the best way we check is put your wrists on top of the 12 o'clock on the steering wheel. Here? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, is that comfortable? Can you yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't steer it like that, though, do I? No. <laughs> Is so, so you I've can... never seen anyone steer it like that. <laughs> Is this so you can reach it? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's... <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Then, uh, seat belts. Oh, yeah. So, why do we do the seat before we do the seat belt? Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Say you needed to adjust your seat again when your seat belt's on. Oh, why did it move? Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Oh, it moves all right. Yeah. So I do my seat. Seat first, then your seat belt. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. And do you know who's responsible for the passenger seat belts? Uh, 
imagine the driver. Yes, only if they're under 14. Right. So the driver's responsible for under, under, under 14. Yeah. Oh, that'd be my little brother then. Yeah. So it's your responsibility to make sure he wears a seatbelt. Oh, okay. That's a funny age, isn't it? 14. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then lastly, we check mirrors. So, Dan, just because. Yeah. So, someone over that age is. It's matter. their responsibility. Well, obviously, yeah. we want them to wear seatbelts, but we obviously. Oh, yeah, I just thought that the If you get pulled over, be... yeah. Oh, well, the police. Yeah, pulled you over and saw you passenger without the seatbelt. All right, so the, the, I'd be like, well, don't talk to me. <laughs> talk to them. <laughs> talk to them. <laughs> not my problem. All right, but if they were under 14, yeah, then I'm. Yeah, okay, I'm okay. Glad. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. And the last thing we check is the mirrors. So. The first one we'll check is the centre. Okay, um, using your left hand only, you can adjust it so you can see out the back, but also part of the head restraint. With my left hand only? Yep. That's a bit there is, There's a reason. Oh. So, what, the see out the back, obviously, yep. and what the head restraint? You need a little, see, see a little bit of the head restraint in there as well. Um, why can't you see me in it? Sit back there, I can see a bit of headrest. Can you see out the back quite clearly? Yeah, I've got a lovely view out the back window now. I can see right right down the road. The problem with doing like this, yeah. and the reason why I say one hand, is a lot of people do this, they move to move the mirror using both. You lean forward. So when you go it's back to the original away. position, it won't be where. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. That's not as good as it was before. No, so we use our left hand to adjust it. That's bad. Yeah, no, I can see out the back now. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's much better now. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I see when I moved it. When I come back, it kind of looked sort of a bit of the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something else I need to go over is the. Sorry, I missed this. Head restraint. As we're going over that. Oh, It'll be part of a theory question. Do you know where the head restraint should be? The rigid part of it. I would just say behind your head. So just it needs to be at least... It moves easy, this one. Yeah. Some restraints don't move in cars. But, um, oh, in the, uh, so I know what you mean. I've seen a car like that. But we like want a the... sporty car, it yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. We want the rigid part of the head restraint to be at least eye level and as close to the back of the head as possible. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we've checked the top mirror. You happy with that? The sink mirror? Yeah. yeah. That's good now, yeah. Now we need to adjust the left and right. Uh, is this? A, <laughs> is it there? I yeah. think it, it's like my mum's car. She's got a car similar. To this. Yes. And I've seen her do it. They're here. So you select oh, yeah. a mirror. Oh yeah. And then you can do. adjust it. All oh, posh electric ones. Yep. So you don't have to, <laughs> my um, older sister, she's got a car where have to push it. There's little sticks. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, and windows that yep. get to like really old fashioned. But she ain't got a lot of money. So well, she's got a cheapy car because it's her first one. Well, a lot of people go for a cheaper car. Just that, that'd any... probably end up to be my car. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I think when I, buy, I always get like the any um, I'll bumps get that. the curb or any knocks. Yeah. So it's not so bad if you've got like a cheaper car. To start so yeah, with. so I do. Do you build your confidence up? All right, I can see out the side there. Yeah. So and that one. Yeah. Basically, what you want to see. And that footpath is you want to be perfectly in, in the middle, you want to see half road, half sky, and you want to see one door handle. That's what you want to see on each. Oh, I can't see any door. What? Oh, right, do I need to bring it in? Down. One door mm -hmm. handle. I can see the door yeah. handle. Is it half sky, half floor? I can't see any sky. Yeah, get back up then. To be fair. 
It's a bit unlucky because there's just trees. But I think I know what you mean. But I can't see the door now. Oh, I can see a bit now. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And the other move? I can't see any car. So I should see the car in it? Yep. Yeah. Fetch that in a bit then. Yeah, see the car now. I know what you mean about the half road half, so I can see it in this yeah. one. <laughs> so yeah, about half the mirror is the road and then there's sort of the skyline. And uh, yeah, and I can see the door handle in there. Yeah, well. lovely. So we do this so we so can is that see. How I should have it. Yes, that's how you want it. Okay. So we can see to the left of us and the car as well. We get a lot of um, vehicles overtaking us, especially one in particular, which is harder to see. Do you know what it is? What type of vehicle? Yeah. I'd imagine motorbikes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they go fast. Yeah. Let's hope we don't get overtaken by a milk float today. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our mirrors are all fine. Yeah, okay, yeah. We use our mirrors obviously to see things around us, but it's also two blind spots in the car. Oh, right, really yeah. are. I would imagine they would be yeah. over, over, over your right shoulder, yeah. One over there and maybe that one? Yeah, perfect. So there's a jogger coming up. Yeah. So we use our mirrors to see things around us, but we yeah. also check our blind spots as well. Okay, yeah. Like you did in the car park. Yeah, you went, it. you went all round the car. Yeah. Because our, our mirrors might miss things, so we always look over our shoulders, check blind spots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I'm, what, when do I do that? When I'm driving along? So, because when I did my CBT, yeah. Um, do we have to do like a lifesaver check? So we'd have to check, like when we are so, moving. Yeah, when we're stationary off and, and we're about to move off, Yeah. we do our full observations, which is over your left shoulder, oh, yeah. left mirror, top mirror, right mirror, over your right shoulder, last blind spot. Oh, yes. And that's the full yeah, observation. Yeah, similar. When you're on your moped, stick your mirrors and you can do that and you drive off. Yep. Sounds like the same. Oh, Lovely. Yeah. So they call that life saver check. What do you, what do you call that? A six point. Something. Six point um, observation. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Do you have any questions about cockpit drill? Oh, we finished the cockpit drill. Um, no. So you do your. Do you remember what order belt. it was in? It was a D and three S's and M. Yeah, so that's right. What was that? Doors and doors first. Seat belts. No seat. Seat, seat belt. Don't know what the other S was. And mirrors. So we've got doors first, which is great. Yeah. Next we choose seats. Yeah. One you were missing was steering. Ah, so right. We can okay. <laughs> steering wheel. Move it. Right. Yeah. You, what steer it? Just so we're like comfortable, so we can steer it. So if, oh, is that yeah, why I did that? For? Yeah, so you can reach it. Oh yeah. What if I need to do it? What if I didn't line up? How? Why would I? Does it so move or? yeah, underneath here, there's a little switch you push down, and it you can move the steering wheel up and down. Yeah. That's it. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And out. out. Yeah. Nice so you can gosh, adjust it, it to your preference. And then Bump you push it, it back up to lock it. That's it. Okay. Just so it's all comfortable for you. All right, yeah. So the, the um, normally when I'm like a passenger, sometimes I adjust it on the back. But if you're having a sleep, you can put it back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you move your seat up. So yeah. It's more comfortable for you. Oh, it's got up and down. Oh yeah, that's the, it's got that in my mum's car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's got a car, I think it's got the A3. Yeah. That's got a lever like that, yeah. So you'll be able to practice your um, cockpit draw at home in your mum's car then? She won't let me try and do it. No? <laughs> well, she <laughs> well, might. She, well, she, she can sit in it and. Um, she will. Maybe when I get near test standard, she did. 
I've been thinking about going out in my sister's car, getting yeah. it insured. But not for a while, yeah. Are you using so have your sister's your mum car to practice copper draw or observations oh. or anything? Okay. Right. So we're going to have a copper draw. The D, three S's and an M mirror. Yep. So I'll start it. Got it. Next we'll move on to the foot controls. Oh yeah. So we've got three pedals there. Do you know which is which? Yeah, well, I think because we've said, I think yeah. the right one is the gas. What well, you said is gas. Yep. Yeah. The go pedal. Yep. Yeah. You said the clutch is on the left and I was doing my seat. Yeah. And uh, there must be a brake. That's it. Oh. Yeah. So, you must, you know uh, what the gas is used for? To go faster. Yeah, to accelerate the car. Um, brake. To stop. Yeah, or slow down. Yeah. The clutch. What do you use the clutch for? Well, I imagine it's to do with the gears, because I know like, my dad's got an automatic and he's only got two pedals. But then he he's don't have to change gears. He does his own steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't worry <laughs> about gears. Um, so yeah, I, I imagine the clutch is something to do with the gears or something. Like that. So we do we use the clutch for two reasons. Yeah. So when we come to a stop, we put the clutch down. Cuts the um, link between the engine and the wheels. So when we um, you'll see us when you start driving. When we're coming to a stop and pulling over, yeah. we'll brake to slow the vehicle down. Yeah. And then the car will start shuttering. And you'll feel like the, the car. Children. Yeah. And if you don't press the clutch, it would stall. Yeah. So as we're about to stop, we um, we put the clutch down as well. And then secondly we use the gear uh, clutch down. The clutch down is to change the gear. So when we change in gear, we put the clutch down to the floor. And obviously move the gear into pull into gear and then we slowly so you put the clutch down yep so, so if you put the clutch in. down now yeah you can see we can move it into first second third oh, yeah right. if you come off the clutch that's fine yeah second oh yeah it says it on there yeah. third the fourth here yeah straight down oh five and five up that's there. it six turn Reverse over there. Okay, right. Okay. And in the middle. So you put the clutch down to do that, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Try doing it without the clutch. You won't go into gear with it. Yeah, it's going in. Yeah. Well, it's doing what it did before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still going in. Okay. But we put the clutch down and then we put it into gear. That's how we do it. Do we? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So um, when we move off as well, we use the clutch to find the biting point, which is finding the balance between the clutch and the gas. So we bring the clutch up to a certain point. You'll feel the vehicle move slightly. You'll find um, right. biting point when we do it. But um, yeah, that's what we use the clutch for. So we get okay. Right. Um, What's that called again there? Biting point. Right, okay. Um, Th there's not a biting point on my moped. No. Uh, I thought I might have missed it. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there's seen quite a few learners here. This must be a, a popular spot. Pop, yeah, a lot of instructors use the same areas. It's suitable for learners. Right, yeah. Obviously, yeah, I like this. Different, this is, yeah, different nice locations for different it? skill levels. Oh, so it's just like 
so yes, level we... one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It just says it's... there's not too much going on at, at once for you. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Perfect for me, yeah. <laughs> Um, right, so we'll move on to other controls, the hand controls. Firstly, we've got handbrake. Right, yeah. For. What's that? That's that's when you park to stop your car rolling yeah, away. Yeah, so it secures the car. So obviously, you push the button in, down, to release the car, and then push the button in, up, to lock the car. So I just use that when I stop. Yep. Um, you can use it at uh, traffic lights if you feel more, com more comfortable doing that. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's it's good. Am I allowed to take that? Yeah, if I put my foot on a brake. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that's off. Yep. That's on. That's it. Got it. So the handbrake locks the back wheels. Okay. That's what, that's what oh, is that like the back brake? Right? <laughs> it's fast, isn't it? So yeah, so because on the moped you got your back brake and your front brake. So yes. is that like the front brake? That's your front brake and that's your back brake. Yeah. So on the foot, front brake, back brake on the on that one. Yep, that's right. Okay. Right, next we have the gear lever. Obviously it opens up gears as well. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah, but I don't change them. No, it's automatic. I assume that's all just happening in the background. So, <laughs> yeah. so um, when, you, when you're driving your, got, right? your moped, like you're riding your moped, yeah. um, you would hear the engine reach yeah. up to a certain level. You know, and it, 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 yeah. And so like, basically, kinda... what are the engines doing? You, you're going yeah. through the gears, but it's like an automatic. All right, yeah. What we do, we do that manually. And right. we're driving. Okay, yeah. So, for each gear, is a basic uh, speed range, basically, what we use. So, as we pull off, well, when we pull off, we always pull off in first. Oh, yeah, you said, yeah, you said that. So we pull off in first. But I guess that's like on your push bike, because we're trying to pull off on my... Like I've got a, a six-speed sort of mountain bike thing, and if you're using too high a gear, that'd be like Strugg you, really struggling. And it's it, the same. It, yeah. it'd, take, it'd like it would take forever, like to get it. Yeah, going. it's the same. But it really like hard work. So I was going like a lower gear. Yeah. To get. That's but it. You need to go really far. So the car will struggle if it's in high gears. Right. And it, yeah. in scenarios. At like maybe roundabouts or junctions where we need to pull off quite quickly and we find our gap. Yeah. So a lower quickly. gear to get going. Yes. Like yeah, a bit like speed a lot quicker. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, lovely. So and as you get fast, you can go higher gears. Yeah, exactly. So the speed ranges, that's what we'll talk about next. Yeah. First gear. Yeah. We're pulling off us from zero miles per hour up yeah. until 10 miles per hour. Okay. At 10 miles an hour, what we'll do is take our foot off the gas, clutch down, and go into second. Okay. So at this point, we'll be at about 10 miles an hour. Uh, into second at 10, yeah? Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. And then from seconds, the range of that is between 10 and 20. So 20 and I miles. see, so 30 will be 30 and 40 and so on. Yeah. yeah. So we use that as a rough guide. So. You'll right, feel yeah. it, the vehicle, as you'll drive it as well, like telling you it needs to change gear. So as I'm doing 60, 70, I'd be at 6. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 0 to 10, 10 to 20. Okay, all right. 20 yeah. to 30. I doubt we use 6 today then. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what, so, one gear, yeah, one yeah. and two? Five and six Sounds four, quick enough for me. Um, oh. Natural speed limits. All right, yeah. Carriageways. All right, yeah. So first, second and third are the gears you'll be using the most. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, like around town and that, I suppose yeah. you would be, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you'd like, you can practice pulling into gears. We get some people who um, struggle finding the gear when they're driving. There's a lot to think about when you're driving mm. and using the gears at the same time. So yeah. if you look down the road, yeah. push down on the clutch. What now? Yeah. 
while looking down the road, grabbed a gear stick. See what? Yep. Carry on looking down the road. Oh, put right. back into neutral. Pin second. That's it. Look down the road. Yeah. Clutch down to the floor. Put it first for me without looking. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, it's over there, yeah. Now Still looking down the road, try putting it into second. So I put the clutch down? Am I clutch yeah, clutch down to the floor. Um, where was that? That was... Straight down. There. Oh, no. Is that it? So this is, this is the issue I was trying to say. So you've gone down into fourth. Oh. Oh. So, you go down, back into neutral. Okay. So you want to see first is there. I just brought it down. I thought it'd just yeah. be down. Straight down left. Okay. And you want to go an easier way for some people to do struggle, put it back into neutral, yeah, and then up into third because third is straight up, first is to How the left. And up. Oh, okay, first to third, and this is that what you mean? Or? No, from second, sorry. So, from oh. second, okay, if you want to go to third, you can go into neutral and straight up. Let's oh, so try again. Yeah. So, in the first, that's it, second, that's fourth. Oh. So you want to try and you want to stick to the left. If you first, first and second, so left, I go straight down. You want to you can even hold it to the left if you like. Like this. Yep. That's it. That's second. That's much better. That was awkward. Okay. You'll find what's comfortable for yourself, but um, as long as you know where the gears are, okay. and how to get them into. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops, that's fine. <laughs> I took the clutch off. Sorry. Okay, right. so that's the gears, yeah? Yep. Change them. Yeah. So, when we're, so another thing, when we're slowing down, yeah. obviously we go through the gears as well. So, if we're at 30 miles an hour going down to 20, We'll be, we'll be in third. Yeah. And we'll come down into second. So we go down in gears as well as we go up. Oh, right. So as I slow down. So if I was driving at 30. So we use. Slow down to yeah. second and then down to first and then. So if you remember the speed ranges for each gear, it's yeah. like a rough guide for you, basically. So okay. if you are between 10 and 20, you really want to be in second. All right. So. So when I so when I drive off, I go one, two, three, four, ups. Yeah. And then when I come to a stop, I go down, back, like three, two, one. Yeah. Um, if you you can skip gears as well. So if you're in third, and you you know you're coming to a stop at a junction or a roundabout, you have to come to a stop. You can go straight from third into first. There's no problem doing oh, that. Okay. Right. And skip going up or not? Yes, you can um, skip going up. So from second to fourth, or from third to fifth on a good carriageway. If you're picking up speed on a dual carriageway, you're joining from a slip road maybe. If you're joining like a really fast, like oh, okay. low traffic, and you're coming in third, okay. you've picked up your speed really quickly, and you've gone down and come up to fifth. Okay. But that comes with experience. That's um, yeah. a lot more advanced. Yeah, keep it simple. Yep. <laughs> Right. So you understand the gears. Is there anything you'd like, like to ask about them? No. No. It will all come no. with experience as well. This is just the introduction. The more you use it, the more you'll get used to it as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, next we have steering wheel. So yeah. we want to position our hands at. 10 to 2, so you want here, and quarter to 3. So imagine this is a clock. Um, uh, sorry, yeah. Okay, 10 to 2. Oh, I see that. Top yeah. Face. yeah. Quarter to 3, 10 to 2. That's how my mum drives. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people get into bad habits when they're. Um... What's like that? Yeah. <laughs> so honestly, I've been watching it. So what do you think the risks of 
doing that. Well, you should have two hands on the wheel. Yeah, all times, yeah. It's like, you know, you wouldn't ride a push, well, you could ride a push bike with one hand or no hands, can you really? But safer in it. Yeah, safer. We have more control over the vehicle so, if you have yeah. both hands. Obviously, we need we let go of the feels hand. odd like feels uneasy. Yeah. Feels better, yeah. It just feels better like that. More comfy. You'll find a lot of people once they pass the test get into bad habits. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's been driving a while. Yeah, since before I come along anyway, so. All right, got it. Um, there's also a system we use with steering is the pull and push system. Oh. So if we're going around a sharp corner or we're turning, yeah. we, we pull down and we push up with the other hand. So we pull down and push up. Pull down and yep, pull push down up. and push up. Pull yep. down and push up. Obviously you don't want to cross your hands if possible because obviously you'll get yourself in the muddle. So you you put your hands at maybe 12 o'clock. Yep, and your other hand about 5 o'clock. Yep. And then pull down on your left. It won't go stiff. <laughs> just practice though. Just like, All right, okay. And then push up with your right. All right, pretend, didn't you? So yep. pull down. Yeah, yeah. So push up. Okay. So that's the method we use. Fair enough. Pull and push. Yeah. Because you'll find some people trying, and... well, you could do shuffling as well, like shuffling around the vehicle, like the steering wheel. Okay. Um, but some people get shuffling. into. Shuffling. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay, yeah. Um, so we have indicators here. Do you know what? So left and right, is okay? I imagine that's left. Yeah. And. Do you want me to do it? Yep. Yeah. How about turn right? That's it. Oh, yeah, I see. The laser. These are the window wipers. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need them, do nope, we? Nope, oh, that's do. Nice day today. All right, yeah. Okay, so the indicators. Yeah, lovely. And lastly, we have the ignition. So. That's the key here, yeah? Yep. Yeah, sometimes they have buttons, don't they? Yeah, so it's different for different cars. A lot of newer cars have a um, clutch that as well, which you have to have a clutch down to the floor when you start the engine. Yeah, so it's just, what, it's just turn the key? So if you put, me to do put, it? Yeah, you put your foot down on the clutch first. Clutch first? Yep, hold it down to the floor. That's it. Ah. Uh, slowly bring the clutch up with your left foot, at least slowly. That's it. Okay. Oh, it goes, mate. It moves there. Yep. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. Can I roll for a second? Yeah, out roll. Yeah, She's done a lot there. I've done a This is what I was Fucking worried hell. about the most is I fitted, tried to fit too much in one lesson. See, so, so yeah, I've even included moving off on this bit as well. And I'm not sure if that was necessary. Well, on a first lesson, you're going to have a two hour lesson. Yeah. You need it. Yeah. Because there's a lot. To get through, and um, and of course, what do they want to do? They want to drive. <laughs> that is it. Like, they don't drive. They're going to go home unhappy. Aren't they? They're yeah. going to be like, "Chart, exactly. you didn't drive." They're like, what, what did you do? <laughs> well, cockpit drill. Um, went ran through what the controls did. Yeah, how'd you get on with driving? Oh, we didn't do right drive. I'd be like, "What?" Everyone's expecting it. They we want to do it. So we need time to be able to do that. And so, like, what we can do? Should we, do you want to review where we've, what we've, yeah, where we I'm are so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell you because now we're running the engine, yeah, um, and we're not going anywhere, so I'm gonna turn it yeah. off so we're not idling because okay, we shouldn't idle. Well, I'm gonna leave the ignition on just for the power. Yep. 
So let's just review. So what we've just watched, what you've just had a go at doing, and, and yeah, well done for giving it a, a go and going through all that. <laughs> yeah, of course you've got to look at you know. You've never done yeah. this before. This is so um, this is your first run through, um, and looking at your phases and your as you've broken down your lesson, you did your introduction, which we did at Macro, yep. didn't we? Then we did the drive to location. Then we've arrived at the location and you've explained like responsibilities. You've done the cockpit drill and what's the, Pedals, and and the controls. Yeah. And then what's the next I've got bit? explain the pumping MSM routine. So I was going to get him to do the. Oh, yeah. And then I say, and then drive back. I get it because you've condensed that into an hour. So you, you're actually aware of how long these things would take. Some people think it'll all take really quick and in reality realise it's taken a lot longer and have planned to do a lot more stuff. Um, so that's good. So you're real, very realistic with your, your times there. So how do we make it more time efficient? How can we shave bits of time off to make sure that we, we get to where we, to get to drive sooner? Now that's what we could talk about. Yeah. As this lorry just is going to drive, they are going to stop. Yeah. This is this is <laughs> one reason why, when you're briefing, I'd get the seatbelts on soon, yeah. sooner. Because yeah, you know while what, as someone I'd tell from being being an instructor, she's qualified now, um, worked in any, &E, and whenever I go in a car with her, first thing she'll do is seatbelt. Okay. Same. So, but, you know, what's the it's just, you see, the amount of people we deal with that are just sitting in their cars and get stuff through their windscreens. Yeah. So you, once you see it, yeah. <laughs> you just put your seatbelt on. And you kind of like, you very aware of where you park and where you do these briefings. So um, so now we feel safer because we've got a lorry buffer yeah. behind us, haven't we? We've got a little, little thing. Anyway, but that, that sort of took me off another on a tangent there. <laughs> so back to... Um, how you can make, get some overlap, if you like, to, to combine jobs. So for example, the drive to location, yep. you can use that to get a lot of this stuff done. Okay. And what I could do, if you like, is do you want me to just demonstrate yeah. that? Yeah. Because the, the amount of time it would take me to explain it would take about the same time to actually just do it. And, um, and if it's recorded, then you can look back and think, oh, right, yeah. Yeah. So we could do some role reversal now. So what I want to try and do is, I don't want to overload you. No. Because okay. the poor old people, <laughs> if we bamboozle them with lots of information, yeah. they'd be like, what? Okay. So we're trying not to overload or front load whilst doing some, that demonstration drive, if we make it practical about the things that we're going to be doing, yeah, will really help the pupil. So what I'll do here is you can pretend to be the, the pupil. Yep. And I'll address some of the, I'm going to say the word faults, some of the faults, your faults that you made. And I'm sure you're aware of them. Is it like the pedals? Did you think, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then when we drove off, I went, oh, I better put my seatbelt on. Yeah. Think little things like that, just checking. Because you know where you said about the responsibilities of the driver? I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, so, but so that's, that's what we're, yeah, we're sort of going to do. It's like, right, seatbelts. Um, but in a way that is the learner's not going to think, oh my God, I'm responsible, I'm going to get points. Yeah. Which you're right, you're not saying anything untrue. But it can come across a bit heavy. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. On, a, on a first lesson. Yeah. So, um, but they are responsible. I guess just the way it's pitched, yeah. the way you approach okay. that. Because I, I could have thought, bloody hell, like, oh my God, I'm going to get points. I don't yeah. want to get points. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm really nervous now. And, and, they, they, and that's the thing, they are fully nervous. So we just want to put them at ease and de stress them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive around the block. 
if you take the seatbelt off, just imagine, let's just do this little start bit. So I'd do it as like, this is what I would do with a real learner. So just got to imagine you're that guy, you, you have not driven a car, okay. you've driven, you've ridden a moped, so you've done CBT. Okay. But I don't know that yet, because I'm just not fortunate. So, uh, and I've just jumped in. So what I've done, before we got in the car, um, or in the car, it don't really matter, I would have checked your license. Yep. Okay, just to make sure you got that, that's all fine. Give that back to you, good. And I'm gonna get you, and I would do this outside the car, I'd get you through the number plate. Okay. So um, we were in the car park, so that was, that was easy in here. I'm not gonna do that here, so no cars. <laughs> the lorry's a bit close. Um, but what I just what I would do with that, again, because we're promoting this responsibility for them, it's not just we're teaching them to pass a test, we're teaching them to, to, to drive for a lifetime. You know, take Prince Philip, 97, just giving his license back. Mm -hmm. Well, if he passed me, he was 17. What's that, 80 years? Yeah. So it's not the 40 minute test that we're preparing them for, it's the, the potentially 80 years after it, as eyesight diminishes and things like that. So to, what I, just to put that into context, what I would have done in the car park is just said, you know, hi, put you at ease, hi Mitch, how you doing, how you feeling, you right? Yeah, good. And said, right, what I want you to do is I want you to read a number plate and I want you to pick a car, the furthest car, the number plate you can read, the furthest. So let's say you can read, I don't know, that car right down there. And I think, right, good. Then I'd say to you, so the distance that car in metres, how many metres do you reckon that is? And often they're reading them at 40, 50 metres. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, that's good eyesight. I said, so I say, how far do you reckon that is? I don't know, I don't know about 40 metres. Just gives me a judge of what they're like with space and yeah. things. So let's say they can read it. I say, right, that's very good. So now, do you know, I say to them, do you know what the legal requirement is for the eyesight? They go, I ain't got a clue. I said, right, it's 20 metres. So now I want you to walk up to that car and I want you to stop when you're thinking about 20 metres from it. I go, oh. They're normally pretty accurate with that. If they're not, I just correct them and say, well, that's about 20 metres. We can go much further than this. Mm. So then they really go, well, that's really easy. I said, right, the reason I just want you to do that is because that's the legal distance. So it's 20.5 20 metres. And that, in car lengths, how many car lengths do you think that is? And they'd be like, I don't know, five or six. So it's about five. So as you prepare for a lifetime of driving, that's the legal requirement. Because as you get older, when you're my age, like I, I have reading glasses now and glasses. Yeah. So my eyes has changed. And you know, you, you've got a responsibility that when you get to a point, if your eyesight, is, eyesight diminishes, that that's the lead of it. Just remember, 20 metres, five car lengths, that's the distance. Okay. And they might just remember that. Yeah. Because when they get pulled up for by the police and they can say, oh, they're still in trouble, aren't they? It's their, their responsibility to know if they can read a number plate. So, um, so I, I do that outside. I have a little drink if I get going. It's all dry already. Ah, too much. <laughs> <laughs> And it is quite a lot of talk in the first lesson. So anyway, so we're in the car, jump in. So I say, right, so what we're gonna do, Mitch, first lesson, where we are now, it's not really suitable for you to do first, that's a bit busy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna drive you to a suitable location. Yep. Is that all right? Good, happy days. Right. <laughs> so, um, so on the drive, I'll go through some of the things that you'll be doing today. Um, and give you sort of a practical demonstration. I don't worry, I'm not gonna bamboozle you with loads of stuff, but just some of the key things that will help you. So you tell me you ride a, ride a moped. Yep, sorry. And did it, it have gears or is it? Automatic. Automatic, yeah. okay. So what's your understanding of in a car, how to change gears? Do you any, uh, just say like most people will say, not really. Not really. Okay, go. Cool. Well, let's just go through very quickly then. I've got three pedals down here. Um, do you know what they are? Do you know, could you name these pedals? Do you know what they do? You can have a go at that. Yeah. Yeah. Most would, most <laughs> yeah, yeah, would know sure. this. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's hard for you because, you know, when you see enough learners, you, <laughs> you know what they, they yeah. you, most would say what they are. Okay. And so, yeah, so say what you think. Don't worry if you get it wrong. 
gas on the right, brake yeah. in the middle, and clutch on the left. Good. And do you know what a clutch pedal does? Like changing the gears? Yeah, most people say that, change gears. And I say, okay, it's a good spot on. So you know <laughs> to change gears. You use it to change gears. If I said to you, do you know what the biting point is? Do you know about that? Most yeah. would say, no, I don't know about that. Okay, well, let, let me explain, because that's going to be quite important. It'll be, it'll be a big part of your lesson today. It's because we're going to get you moving up and stuff, and knowing about the clutch and the biting point is going to really help you. While someone pedals just briefly, so I don't forget, have a look down there. You've got a couple of pedals. Yep. So they're mine when I sit there, when I'm teaching. So uh, they are live pedals, so just whilst I drive to the location, don't <laughs> touch. Do not touch, because you'll have more control than me otherwise. Okay, so, um, and just in case you're wondering, I've only got two. I've got no accelerator, so I don't have a clutch and a brake, so I can stop you. There you go. Okay. So that's that. So anyway, because uh, we've just been talking, I've, I'm just going to get myself back in, you know, in my driving position. And so something I'm sort of just very briefly doing here is my cockpit drill, which we'll go through in more detail with you in a minute. Because we're all, yeah, we're, I'm, we're different heights, different sizes. You'll need to sit somewhere different to where I'm sitting. So we'll, we'll go through that when we get there. Okay. Okay, so um, and if you, I could ask you to put your seatbelt on. Yep. Now, why should you put your seatbelt on there? Who do you think is responsible for you wearing the seatbelt? Is it me as the driver or you as the passenger? Uh, me as passenger? Yeah, it is. So legally, it's your responsibility. Okay, and do you know what the age limit is to be legally responsible for your own seatbelt in a car? No. Okay, it's a funny age, 14. So 14 and over, you are legally responsible. 13 and under, okay. the driver is. So have you got any brothers and sisters? Yeah. Yeah, and what sort of age? Oh, a bit older. <laughs> no, no one under 14. Lie. So, <laughs> yeah, um, so, one younger brother, eleven. All right, yeah, cool. So, um, so when you, as a driver, you will need to legally make sure yeah, it's okay. responsible. But as a, as a driver, morally, really, you want to make sure that yeah. everyone's got a seatbelt. Because if if you've got someone next to you without a seatbelt and you get <coughs> hit by a vehicle or a crash, they're going to come into you and do you just as much damage. So, um, so for everyone's sake, have, make a rule seat belts on so you've done that and um so yeah, like i say we're going to, I'm going to drive to a suitable location and i'm going to show you some things okay the first thing is we talk about the clutch and the biting point so i'm going to start the engine so i'm going to put the ignition on and you see all the warning lights just come up which is normal um at this point and they should gradually go off which some of them have gone off now and then i need to start the engine so on this car i've got a a key actually I'll take it out so you can see we've got a normal key because some cars have push buttons and yep. things so we've got a key so do that again so if I before i start the engine or turn that key what i should be doing is checking the handbrakes on and the gears in neutral because do you know what would happen if i tried to if i tried to start the engine with the car in gear okay. it would jump forwards okay and if this wasn't on it could drive off down the road it could keep moving it wouldn't stop so um so that's, yeah we're going to teach you lots of good stuff best practice before i start the engine we're just going to check handbrake gear in neutral yep before i start down and this car i put the ignition on like i just done and then before i turn it again you'll get a little message so press clutch pedal so this car wants to clutch down so i'm going to put the clutch down where's that left pedal turn the key it starts and then those warning lights, one by one, have all gone off, apart from one, that one with a P. Do you know what that one's for? Parking? Yes, it's this one. So if I put my foot on the foot brake, take that off, we're all off. Yep. So when we're driving, there should be no warning lights. Okay. Okay. If, if someone had left their seatbelt off, yep. warning light. So a driver responsible is going to check. I'd also do visual checks for people in the back as well. Or if someone hadn't shut a door, we're gonna know, aren't we? So we just want to make sure we got a nice clean dashboard with no warning lights okay. on before we get going. Okay. So anyway, let's talk about this clutch. So 
I'm just briefly going to give you an explanation of what the clutch does, how it works, and what the white point is, then I'm going to show you. Yep. So, imagine two cogs, two plates in the engine, right, in the, somewhere down there in the mechanics. Um, this, this side is joined to the wheels, so at the moment this side is turning because it's connected to the end. This is the engine turning. Yep. And to make the car move, what would we have to join the engine to to make the car move forwards? The wheels. Okay. The wheels, if, the, if the we could apply drive to the car and join up the engine to the wheels, the car's okay. gonna move. So basically, what the clutch does is these two plates, so if I put the clutch down, separates the plates, and when I bring the clutch up, they come back together, okay? okay. And that kind of works in conjunction with gears. So when I push the clutch down, I separate the plates and then I put a gear in, a bit like opening up a sandwich and putting it in the filling. So if you imagine these cards, let's say these are the gears. So this car's got six gears. So there's six like gears that yeah. we've got to play with. Little cogs. So if I give you the gears, yeah. let's say, say the top gear is gear one which is what we're going to use to make the car move forwards. So if I put the clutch down and separate them, if you put a gear in, so now when I put, bring the clutch up, as I come up, those plates will know there's a gear in there now and they will touch it. And we call that the biting point. So if I can demonstrate that, you're going to hear it in a second. So okay. I'm going to put it in gear one. If you, and if you just listen, when you hear the note of the engine change, just tell me to stop and I'll keep that left foot still, and that is the bite point. So, okay. on the shuttle window, so you can hear it better. I might, I'll put the air conditioning on as well, because it's a bit, well, don't expect to use the air conditioning in February, do you? but here we are, in a heat wave in February. <laughs> so anyway, so um, I'll turn the fan down so we can hear it. So I'm gonna bring the clutch up, and listen for the note of the engine, and say stop when it changes. That's the bite. Feel that? And yeah. if I push it down, feel it the difference? Goes, yeah. Can you feel the car vibrate? When you've got the clutch pedal under your foot, you'll feel it as well. So if you was deaf, you would you'd feel a vibration. So you can bring the clutch up. There, that's the okay. bite point. So those clutch plates have just come and touched that gear and the car is ready to go. I'm gonna take it out of gear because the engine's running. And if I bring the clutch up, I'd fully connect. And if I press the gas pedal, made the engine go faster, what would happen to the speed of the car? Because okay. yeah, it's connected, so yep. the car would go faster. Now we want to go into second gear. You've got a second gear. How are you going to do that? Clutch down. Now we're going to do Ah, but there's two gears in there now. So before you do that, before you put two in, what you've got to do with one? Oh, okay. Take one out, <laughs> then put two in. And yeah. now we're going to do? Uh, bring the clutch back up. Like that, or slowly, or fun bite. Slowly, yeah. and and have you ever seen like a learner car kangaroo jump down the like that? Yeah. That's if they bring the clutch up too quick, it bounces like, that, like a ball, and that's what's happening. So if we bring up slowly and smoothly, they connect smooth gear changes, and we do that so on and so forth for each gear change. You'd, you'd come off the gas so the car, the, the engine doesn't spin far, so you'd lift off the gas open the plates, take the gear out, put a gear in, close them, and off we go. It's really and a good that's, way of a spin, though, and, that's, <laughs> and, and there are, like, some instructors have, um, you know, expensive things, <laughs> um, working mechanisms to show you that. Me, I'm on a budget, you know, I just got my hands and a set of cards, <laughs> and you as my assistant. <laughs> so, so it's interactive. Yeah. So anyway, so now that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you that and a couple of other things as we just get going. So this is really going to be a demonstration about the clutch and what I'm doing because you'll be doing this thing. Okay. But I will explain. I will be helping you. So um, <laughs> so I'm going to get the car moving off. So I'm going to put the clutch down. I'm going to select that first gear and I'm going to get that bite. There, you hear that? Yep. My right foot just covers the gas. Ready on the handbrake. Ready on the steering wheel. So I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to observe, and because I've got this lorry, it's a bit awkward, so I'm going to look round into my blind spots, all my mirrors, over my shoulder, and I put a little signal on there, and I'm slowly bringing that clutch up. And now the clutch is fully up, and look, I've come off the clutch pedal, and we're away. 
So now I'm going to change up a gear. So I'm going to lift off my gas, put my clutch down, put it in second gear, bring the clutch up. I've got a car behind, so I'm just going to put a left signal on and let him go. Parking mode disabled. Just purely because I want to give you a good demonstration of what we're doing without holding him up. Yep. Because they look like they can go there quite quick, look like they're in a hurry. So anyway, I've stopped. So what I just did there, I checked my mirrors, I signalled, I put my foot on the brake and I put my clutch down before we stopped. And that's where I've stopped here. So look, we're still in second gear as I've yep. stopped. So I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to get us moving off again. So I'm going to clutch down first. Get the bike. Yep. There, you can hear it. Cover the gas. Hands ready. One on the handbrake, one on the steering wheel. I'm going to look. Handbrake off. Signal. Clutch comes up slowly, slowly, slowly. Now the clutch is fully up. Cancel the signal. So now to change up a gear, I'm going to come off the gas, put the clutch down, select second gear, clutch comes up, and gas goes back on. So that's what I'm doing there with my um, my gears. Yep. And now I'm going to be turning left soon. So I just want you to watch how I steer the car. Because steering is, can be, it might look easy, but when you get here, it might be a bit more tricky than you think. So I'm going to check my mirrors and put a signal on. And then I'll watch my hands. I'm going to use something called pull push. So as I've slowed down before the junction, my left hand's going to come up to the top here, ready for a big pull and a push. So we pull and we push. Okay. We do that. So. Guess what they call Oh, did I tell you that? I think I told you that already. <laughs> Guess what they call that map of the steering? Paul Bush. Okay. So that's self-explanatory. I'm going to now demonstrate bad steering. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can understand why I pull push. And I'll only do this if it's safe. And you're, I want you to compare the difference. So I'm going to be turning left again. So I'm just going to say hi to them. So now I'm not pull push, I'm going to hold my steering wheel in a fixed grip and look as I go around this corner, look at my hands and now look, I'm in trouble, I can't steer and my arms are completely crossed and I'm not really in control. No. And if the bend was any sharper, I don't think I would have got around it. I would have gone wide onto the wrong side of the road. So, by pulling and pushing the steering wheel, we can feed the steering wheel through our hands and keep steering more if we need to. So I'm going to brake, clutch down, so we can stop. So we've stopped with the clutch down, the engine's running. Back to first, get the bite, can you feel it? Yep. Off the brake, look, clutch up slow, and it is slow, really slow when that clutch comes up, and it's still not fully up, and now it's finally up. That's how long it took me just to bring that clutch up, so it's smooth. So there, we've just done a little demonstration, a little bit of how the clutch works. And incidentally, this route I'm bringing you on, this will not be your route, it's quite complicated, isn't it? A lot of cars, mm. which actually out of roll, let me just say something. I brought us around here for a short demo. Yeah. I would have gone the long look, the more nursery route. So I've kind of messed up really, because um, if you were, as a people, if you were looking at, oh, that's what I want to be dealing with, if you'd be like, it's quite, oh, yeah. quite tricky. Um, whereas you'd want something more like this. Yeah, you know, fewer parked cars. Um, none if you can get it like where you started. Yeah. Where we can go in a loop. So I'm actually going to transfer you just to a different nursery route, just so we can go around in a loop because your nursery was good um, until we get round the corner and then it would get a bit harder didn't yeah. it? Where well, this is we can go round the loop and it's pr pretty much samey all the way round. So um okay. so this might be a little if I if I was bringing someone here I just come to this loop. So I, we can go round and round many times and help them. So um so I'm gonna pull up in a minute. I, I'll go back in, to my demo so I'm in second gear, and now we're, we're going to be putting up on the left. So I'm going to check my mirrors. 
going to put a signal on. I'm easy enough to gas and the car starts to slow down. Now look at my right foot, go over the brake, left foot goes over the clutch and the car just rolls nice and slowly. I'm going to steer towards the curb. I'm just going to bring in the brakes, put the clutch down, let it roll and then very gently just apply the brakes till we stop. Like that. Okay. Keep my feet still. I'm going to put the handbrake on, take it out of gear, give it a wiggle, cancel the signal now I'm going to relax those feet and we're, we've stopped. We're in stop start now at the moment so if I put the clutch down it fires it back up again okay. um, and so what I want to do I'm just going to turn the ignition off using the key there because it's hot and it's going to open the window and so now we're not sitting with the engine idling. Okay. That'd be that little bit. So once around the block. So I've covered steering. Yep. I've covered clutch and how it works. Do you want me just to quickly do the next little bit? Enter and exit yeah. the car and the cockpit yeah. drill. Yeah. Just because there's some bits in there. I, I feel it was a bit like all over the place and um, rushed. In some well, it's places, just, it's but... just, it, well, you can, there I'm talking about con the, some of the controls. Just while I've got the car in my possession yeah. to show you some of those things because you talked a lot about mirrors already. yeah um and it, yeah you can <coughs> why not but some of the more practical things after a while you when you pick up a few learners a lot of them struggle to steer and control the clutch yes, and you think Do you know yeah. what this would be time well spent to to stop them kangaroo and you know so they took it so you kind of use that time quite wisely okay and while what and show them about good and bad steering and things mm -hmm. so just if i could do the next bit just to enter and exit the vehicle so we've arrived so i'd say right this is the location we're going to use today for yep. moving ahead you're going to have a go in a minute before we do that we're just going to cover the safety aspects of entering entering and exiting the car um, and then we're going to get you in this side and go through the carpet gel and then I'm going to talk you through how to get the car moving and stopping. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. So before I get out, I'm going to take my seatbelt off and just notice what I'm going to do in my seat. I'm going to put my seat all the way back here and why do you think I might be doing that? It's just easier for people to get in and then adjust it for themselves. Yeah. If you've got longer legs than me and you're going to be roadside, you don't want to get here. Have you ever tried to get in a car where you've had to move the seat first? Very awkward. And if you're still in the road trying to do that, I'm putting it back so you can get straight in. Okay. And so you, if you give me this stuff here, get rid of that for you. And now I just want to ask you a couple of questions. I know you've been a passenger in a car many times before. So let's just briefly cover how we do that safely. How do we get out of a car safely? Before you open that door, where are you going to look? Mirrors. Good. Why are you looking in the mirror? See if anything's coming. Yeah. Why would you look anywhere else? Uh, over your shoulder. Yeah. Whereabouts? Just show me. Yeah. Um. That's good. And why are you doing that? See if anything's behind the car. Okay. Can you see everything in that mirror that you yeah. need to see? So what's that? What are you looking for in that bit? What's that called? Blind spot. Blind spot. Good. So you're aware of using your mirrors and checking your blind spot yeah. before getting out of the car. Have you ever got out of a car on a windy day? Yeah. What happens? The door comes. Door <laughs> to the day. Yeah. And so, what's the consequence of that happening? Hit someone. Or... Hit someone. Or if there's no one there, the wind catches it and blows it back. What's what's the consequence of that? It's your car. It come back to me. It could do. It just yeah. damage it. It'll damage it. Yeah. I mean, it happens. So the door could go. <coughs> so if we, have you ever heard of the Dutch reach? Uh -uh. There you go, something new there, <laughs> something new. So, funny enough, this originates from Holland, Dutch, and what they do with their children from an early age, just like we learn to cross the road and all that, well, they also learn this Dutch reach, how to get out of a car. And what they, they ask them to do is to use their opposite hand to go to the handle there. So that makes them twist. So they're twisting to look into their blind mm. spot. And they have a lot of cyclists 
And yeah. we're getting more, aren't we? We've seen a few cyclists today. So it's kind of, it's a reminder to say, well, look into your blind spot because it makes you twist. And the other thing is, do you use your other hand to do that? So now we've got two hands on the door. So if a gust yeah. of wind comes, you've got more control. It's better than doing it like that because we don't twist. And if the wind blew us, that look, that arm will be quite long. I'd get pulled out. Yeah. Whereas this is a short tether, if you like. So I've got more control yeah. on the door. So there's the Dutch race. <laughs> and because we're going to be swapping over, what's the plan? Are you going to like walk at around the front of the car, or are you going to go around the back? Which would be safest? Behind. Why is that? Um, vehicles can see more clearly. Yeah, so you can see yeah. and be yeah. seen. Yeah. So if you're in the front of the car, you get a restricted view, right. especially if you're stood in the road. So how can we elevate our view before we step out? And they teach you this at school when you like crossing the road. They say don't cross between two cars because like, you're hidden. Yeah. And they say stand up on the footpath, don't they? So you're taller, you can see more, and that's what we're going to do. So when we when we're going to go for this, you're going to do your safety checks. Okay. Walk to the back if it's safe. Come round again. I will shut my door. I won't leave it open. So if something did come, we're not going to cause an obstruction in the road. Okay. okay? Yeah. So whenever you're ready, we'll swap over. Now we won't do this because <laughs> we'll have to swap back again. Um, so yeah, then I would just watch you. Do it. So there's a with that part of the lesson, exiting and entering the vehicle. We've discussed the safety aspects, the risk assessment of it. Yeah. How we're going to do it? We're hopefully without patronising you, yeah. like because we we could quite easily. <laughs> like, yeah, I think I've got out of a car a few times, but I'm doing it in a way that you're responsible and you just know we've covered safety aspects. And I've said that I'm going to shut my door and not leave it open, just so it's. We know what we're doing because at the end of the lesson, you might get out outside your house or wherever we finish the lesson and get out, leave the door open, think you're being polite to me. And I'm like, Well, shut the door, bloody bus is coming. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? And yeah, you go, Oh, I just thought yeah. you were going to get, no, like, no, no, shut, just shut it. So, um, so I'm going to move. Just because that car up there is gone, and there's two benefits of parking up there. One, we're not quite. As, I don't know if that was a. It's, no, it wasn't a bus stop. She's just it's, the bus has just let them off there, really. Just dropped them off. Can't see any. Oh no, 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 no. There's a bus stop there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bus stop. But we're just causing a bit of a blockage. Yeah. And if we get there, we'll just be in a bit more shade as well. I think it's going to be a bit. Of, yeah. So I can't believe what we're <laughs> saying this in, in February. Oh yeah, and um, excuse me. I don't know, but it may work, I don't think it's going to make any difference. But we're not, we haven't got a bus stop. Yeah. So yeah, so we've covered the safety aspects. Copper jar would just do quite quickly. Okay. Um, so just a few, a few things just to be aware of. You know, the seat would have been back on the. Yeah. They would have had a seat bar, and so I would uh, just a few pointers. I would just do differently. There is. Say that when you adjust your seat, you're going to move your seat forwards and you're doing that so you can reach the pedals. Okay. But most importantly, it's the clutch pedal. And I'd know what that is now. So yeah. I just had a demonstration. Yeah. And I'd say, so what I want you to do, Howard, is put your right hand on the steering wheel, put your clutch down, and without moving your seat, tell me how the clutch, oh, yeah, a bit of a stretch. Okay. So because we talked about the bite point, what we need to be able to do is have good control on that. Because if we're stretching, we we'll, we'll be like stalling and yeah, kangarooing yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So it's really important we get a good, nice, comfy position. And the best way of doing that is to get a bit, a slight bend in your left knee. Okay. So right. So there you go. Slight bend. Let go. Give it all. 
lean back to make sure it's locked on both ratchets on the seat you just don't want that clicking when you get going so i've got a little bend so it's not a bend on your right foot or anything like that it's all on that left foot so the clutch is the most clutch is key here like you know what it'd be like if yeah. you if you drive to drive a car and you weren't in the right place you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna, oh my god that went very smooth wasn't it you'd be like soon moving your seat yeah so we're gonna give the learner a fighting chance to get it the clutch good so we've got the left knee then yeah so yeah i would go through like you did your, your cockpit drill your d triple sm doors responsibility but i've already done that and i did it when you as soon as you were putting your seatbelt on i was talking about responsibility um said so about warning like just give a quick thing doors open so this bit would be quite quick it'd be like right yes we're gonna do our doors done that um seat seat belt the steering wheel i would just talk about moving the back of the rake okay to adjust to that i mean it was just fluke that we were in the right place yeah, yeah yeah i didn't have to move it I, I would just let them know that we would just adjust the, the back the rake of the seat so they know to do that lovely Mirrors, um, yeah, you saw me moving, you corrected that. Um, probably just want a bit of analysis in that, as just to say about that fault. To say, okay, so yeah, it, you, so you're looking at your back seat, so what's what, why is it so important to that? Well, yeah, when we say we can get the analysis back to safety, yeah, if, there's a consequence, a safety consequence is going to trump any other consequence so safety first as they say okay. you know so like yeah if i had it like that oh yeah no i can't quite see i'm looking at the back seat yeah so what impact would that have on your drive oh yeah i might miss something behind me. exactly so it's really important if you've got your mirrors set like that we did the door mirrors could maybe talk about a different types of glass flat convex yeah, yeah glass yeah. um as long as you're happy yeah, and you understand yeah, that, yeah. we can explain that. And then it'd be like, right, done. Copper drill done. Quick recap. D triple S M. Got it. On to moving up and stopping. Okay. So, yeah, your plan, you didn't get to that bit, did you? Haven't you? That's not because uh, we wouldn't have had the time. Is that right? The only thing I was going to go over was the POM routine and the MSM routine. So when we pull off, use the POM routine, we pull off and then just move a little bit and pull up on the left again. That's yeah. all I was going to do. Um, so would, while we've got, um, how do you want to play this bit? Did you want to, while I'm this side, do you want to... <laughs> no, I'm not even finish that sentence. Would you like <laughs> a demo well, if we were doing a, if I was going to be do a demo, I'd sit back sides, yeah, and you be the learner. I'd be the instructor, you be the learner, and I could, you could see it through the learner's eyes, kind of thing, yep, of prepare, observe, move. Or did you want me to stay this side and you go through what you planned? Um, Depends how you feel. Can Would I be you like a demo of it yeah, or a a demo yeah okay so we are gonna swap out yep. yeah yeah just to make sure that's good and now the location's not perfect anymore is it? where you were it's very good i mean we've got a straight road but a couple of cars are parked in front mm -hmm. and we're gonna have to go around those but that's fine i'll talk you but i'm happy to to do that just to just to save us going right because <laughs> i cut it short and i saw we'll just get back to here so right, so I'm gonna uh, we we'll swap over, yep. and um, and it, you know I, we're not in roll, so I'm not gonna be like. <laughs> I'm gonna practice that. But what I am gonna do is put that seat back, and that's just a habit. Thing. Yeah. You're, if ever you get in the car after me, you'll always notice it's right back. Okay. So um, yeah, all right. Well, if you, if you want to jump in, I'll leave it over more than that. But I'd stand with it, just to be like, hospitable, 
do you do your cockpit drill? So we're not in roll, you just get to where we would have got to on the spit. Clean glasses while you're doing that. So I'll be doing a, a, a briefing on preparing home, preparing yeah. reserve mode and stopping. And I'm gonna, then I'll talk you through it. Okay. So we just want the one briefing, one move off stop for the sake of this demonstration. All right. yep. So, and we've got a negotiated park card <laughs> and we're going to be turning left, but I'll let you know all that in the brief. Okay. So, um, so yeah, and I'll get myself set up because make sure I can see. So just in my mirror, I've got the seatbelt on. I'm sat well back, but I can reach yep. things if I have to. And, and are you set, are you sure you're, you're in a, You've done your copy, Joel. Yep. Yeah. Hey. All right. So let's do the next bit. So right. So um, where do we get to? Oh yeah, we've swapped over. Good. You've done your copy, Joel. Lovely. So what we're going to do now is this the fun bit. We're going to get you moving off and stopping. So you'll be driving in a, in a minute. Okay. Going to give you a little explanation of how we're going to do that and break it down, and then I'll talk you through. Happy? Yeah. Good. So when we move off, I did the little demonstration, but I didn't give it much structure. So now we're going to add a little bit of structure to it. When I move off, I go through three steps and it spells out POM. So I'd have a vision aid. So prepare, so you, if you're a visual learner, yep. you can see prepare, observe, move. So it's written. Okay, so we're going to prepare the car, then observe, make observations, and then if it's safe, we're going to move. So let's talk about the prepare part first. So each limb will have a job to do okay. in the prepare. So like I demonstrated <coughs> on the way, your clutch would go down, you'd put it in first gear, then your left foot will get the bite point. So the left foot is prepared. Okay. Your right foot will just cover the gas. But at this point, I won't ask you to press it. We're just going to cover it while we're preparing. So you've got one left foot on the bike, right foot on the gas. Your left hand will be on the handbrake ready to release it. And your right hand on the steering wheel. You are prepared. A bit like a racer on the ready to start a racing track. You're, you're right ready to go. Okay. Before we can go, we need to observe to make sure it's safe. So if you were going to move off from here on your moped, where would you look? From the left to the right. Good. Why check on the left? Um, see if anyone's behind us, any pedestrians or cyclists. That's it, good. Because there is a risk from the left, and there? A kiddie on a bike might come up the left side, cut in front of the car. Meanwhile, his mate's going around the other side. So we just want to make sure there's no, no one trying to pass us in our blind spots. So we're going to give that a name. When you did your rider training, they what do they call that? You're checking your shoulders. CVT. That you did CVT, and yeah. they probably would have been banging onto you about your life safety checks. Yeah, massive check. We're going to call it a six point check. So, okay. what we're going to do before we do that all round check, you're going to look ahead, you're going to look in your centre mirror and your right mirror. Okay. So, if you look at that now, is there a safe gap, would you say? Would you make a decision to go at the moment? Yes. Good. Safe ahead, safe behind. So once you've made that observation, then you're going to do a six point check. Look over your left shoulder over there, then your left mirror to look down the footpath. So that's yep. one, two, then a head, yep. then three in the mirror, four in the mirror, five over right shoulder, into that driveway where then bins are. Okay. okay? So that's your six point check. Yep. So the, your observations in two phases, you look ahead and in your mirrors, you make a decision, look for a gap, and then we think, well, what if there is a little kitty just coming round? So we're just going to look around the car, and then if it's safe, if it's safe, and you'll be deciding this, this will be your decision to make sure it's safe, we'll move. So I will say, is it safe? And if it is, I'll just have a little look. Not that I don't trust you fully, yeah. but I don't. <laughs> I will still have a look. And then if it's safe, we go to the move. Okay. And so at that point, everything's being kept really still at this point. Your hands and your feet are really still. And then um, then if it's safe, 
the handbrake goes off first, so the handbrake will go down and the clutch will come up slowly. Literally the speed I move my hand, slow, 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 with a little bit of gas at the same time. It's a bit like a set of scales, just going like that. <laughs> For the first time, we can actually afford to move off without any gas. So it just means we move off slowly. Yep. As you build up and as you move off into busy roads, you'll need the gas to get going. Okay, so we're going to, today we're move off where there's no one behind so we won't affect them we're just going to go off nice and slow and we've got these cars in front so we don't want to go off too fast anyway okay so we'll just do it without the gas just for the first one yeah okay. no we could consider a signal when before moving off to tell people what we're going to do so how would you signal right uh, up. that's it and don't do it because if you did do it now they might someone behind might think oh we're going to move off okay. so they might flash or so let us go or do something like that so we don't want to do that. Okay, so then we're moving. Then we've got to think how we stop. Okay. So before we come to a stop, we're going to be turning left. So can you see where that bus stop is? Yep. Just after that is a left junction and we're going to go in left and that takes us into a quiet road and that's where we're going to pull up on the left to okay. come to a stop. Okay. So I'll talk you through the junction. So once we get past these parked cars, or before, I'm gonna tell ask you to take centre mirror, right mirror, make sure it's safe before you go round. Yep. If there's a car coming towards, what are we gonna do? Will we have room to go round now, or will we let the car come towards us? Let the car come towards us. So, so here, lad, priority. If you need help at that point, bearing in mind we're only like two seconds into your drive, um, I can help you. So I've got my dual control. So if time's short, I can't help you talk you through that, but I can just jump in and help as required. Then we're going to get around the parked cars. We're going to turn left. So I'm going to talk you through what mirrors, centre mirror, left mirror. I'll we'll put a left signal on. We're going to go around the corner. And what, how are you going to steer around that corner? Pull and push. So you left, have a go. Yeah. So I'll remind you to do that. Okay. And when we're around the corner, I'm going to talk you through how to pull up on the left. So I'll ask you to check your centre mirror, left mirror, then put left signal on. Okay. Your feet, your right foot will cover the brake. So just do that now. Imagine you're driving, you're covering the gas, and then I want to say, right, okay, with your right foot, cover your brake, but don't press it. And with your left foot, cover the clutch. And as soon as you do that, we're going to get engine braking. As soon as you're not on the gas anymore, the car will start to slow down, but it won't stop, okay? Then I'm going to ask you to gently apply the brake and you'll just press it like a millimetre. Just the smallest amount and that'll just be enough to get your brake lights on. Okay. Then I'm going to ask you to push the clutch down and the car will just roll. I'm going to ask you to steer towards the curb. We might need to give you a reference point. We'll see how we go. Okay. I'll help you. If you get a bit close to the curb, I might just guide you so we don't hit the curb. Okay. Don't want to mess up my own ass, do we? <laughs> And, um, or hit a pedestrian, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and then we'll, so we've got the clutch down, you're gently on the brake, and then I'm going to say, say bring in the brakes a little bit more, a little bit more until we stop. Okay. Keep your feet still, apply the handbrake, select neutral, cancel the signal, relax. That's how we're going to do it. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. okay. So let's have a little dry run of things. So, Oh no, let's say you had a go at doing the handbrake when we did the controls. So you've had a go at doing, you've already had a go at putting that on and off. Yep. You've had a go with a gear stick, putting it in gears, gear one, and you had a go at pressing the gas gently with doing our controls a bit, which you didn't see on this video. We just pretend we've done that. Okay, so I don't know how to go like first and seconds. You won't get to seconds. Okay. We're just going to keep you in first for this. Yep. Um, hence why we're not worried about pressing the gas. We're not, we won't have anyone behind when we decide to go. We're not going to go off and slow them down. Okay. okay. Okay, so you've had a little go at pressing the controls and getting the handbrake off. So you've kind of had a little go at this. Yep. Yep. So now we're going to go live and I'm going to talk you through. And I just want you to do exactly what I say. Okay. What I say. If the situation comes up you're not happy to deal with, I don't think it's safe, I'll jump in. Okay. And okay. when I say jump in, physical, I'll either break or go for the wheel. Okay. Because okay. I will be talking through. Happy? Yep. Happy. Right. So what we're going to do, before we start the engine, what two things should you check? Uh, we did it in the um, in the controls bit. So before you start that engine, 
What safety checks should you make on the car? Doors. We've done all that? Yeah. What would, oh, okay, sorry. if I had left it in it's gear, gear and started the engine, what would happen? Yeah. We'll jump forward. We would jump forwards. Yeah. So we don't want that to happen. So as as the driver, you're responsible to make sure the car is safe before we start it. And this is a good habit to get into. So if you check handbrake yeah. and neutral. So handbrake, Harry before Gary, so handbrake and neutral. Done. So, I'll roll. You can go into gear without putting the clutch on. Well, you were doing it. Yeah. I didn't feel like on certain cars. Sometimes when this car is just stopped, if, if you stop it in gear and try and take it out, it's like it won't yeah, yeah, get yeah. out of it. But no, there you go. Yeah, I know you were like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, before we start the engine, yep. check it's safe. Handbrake neutral, good, and then I'd like you to start the engine. Okay. So it's on. So leave the clutch down, that's it. Brilliant. And you, this is your last last chance to make sure you're happy with your seat position. <laughs> <laughs> See, I saw it was telling me, I don't know, he didn't look comfy. But how would I know? So twist your dial to the right. Yeah. So we would have done that. I would have made sure yeah. that was top before we do it. <laughs> so we're just like, this is... You have a head restraint or did you adjust that in the check? Because it looks a little bit high. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so now we're good. Yep. Top of jewel is done. We're now moving off. Stop it. I'm going to talk you through. Okay. So what I want you to do is, with your left foot, put your clutch all the way to the floor. Without looking at gear stick, select first gear. Okay. With your right foot, just cover the gas. Don't press it. With your left hand, hold the handbrake. Don't release it. So with your left hand, hold the handbrake, don't release it. And with your right hand, hold the steering wheel. Okay, now with your left foot, just slowly bring the clutch up and get to the bite point like we've just been practicing. There, keep your feet still. Everything nice and still now. Now I want you to look ahead in your centre and right mirror and tell me, is it safe? What a nice clear road for this. Similar to red cars. Okay, yeah, as long as you're happy keeping your feet still. Yeah. What about now? It's clear. So now do your six point check. Starting from left all the way round. And is it still safe? There's a car coming down. Okay, so we we'll keep feet still. That's no, pulled off. Okay, so do that Let's check again. All the way around. Is it safe? Yep. Yeah. Release handbrake, keep feet still and slowly release the clutch, slowly, slowly. Hands back to wheel, check centre mirror, right mirror. Now keep your feet still, clutch down, let it roll. Just dab the brakes, come to a stop. Right foot cover gas, left foot get the bite. There, check centre right mirror. If it's safe, we'll go round. Good, well done. Gonna stay in this gear. So now just give it a little bit of gas. We have got a bus behind us now, technically. Now ease off the gas, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Little bit of gas just to get to the junction, that's it. Now with your left hand, put it to the top of the steering wheel. Ease off the gas, check left mirror, and steer. And you go, a little bit of gas around the corner, beautiful. Then straighten up with the other hands, excellent. Check centre mirror, check right mirror. And if it's safe, we're going to go around this learner. So go round. So the oncoming car will have time there. Now ease off the gas. I want to just steady you here, see what until we see what they're gonna do. That's it. Get the wheel, you're in control. I'm gonna do the thank yous. So what we're gonna do now is pull up on the left. So check centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Right foot cover brake, don't press it. Left foot cover clutch, don't press it. See the little bit of high curb there? Yep. Cover the clutch with your left foot. And now just pop the clutch to the floor. Let the car roll. 
And when I say so, not yet, apply the brakes. Keep your feet still. Handbrake. Neutral. Cancel signal. Relax feet. And we've done it. We landed. <laughs> and we've just spelt, yeah, we've just. This is about the only place or there we could have stopped. So this is good. Didn't want to get too close to that junction. Yep. So that would be your first one. And then we'll just repeat. Okay. But the instruction would become less and less from me. That would be like the first talk through, lots of full instruction. And then that would just ease off. So like then you'll get in the hang of it and then you'll be driving around on a repetitive block. So the goalposts aren't changing. You know where you're going, what you're doing. Okay. And you would just be lots, doing lots of moving off, lots of stopping for the next sort of hour. Okay. I'd do that. So a first lesson over two hours, there would be, yeah, there'd be a demo, a bit of talking about controls, cockpit drill and all that. Talk for moving off and stopping, but get him, get him going quite. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, we don't want to front load it. So, you know, you talked about all the gears and palming. I wouldn't have done that. It's a bit too much. I would think, right, do you know what? Let's we're just gonna use first to start with, move off and stop them first. Okay. And then let's say we've done that three times now. And now we're saying, do you know what, we're gonna go to second. So now i would introduce the second. Engine off, palm it seconds, why we're palming it. Do a dry run stationary, then we'd say, right, now we're gonna talk you through and do seconds. Okay. Then I might introduce third as the next one up. Yeah. Rather than front loading the whole lot and that, that's where you can just save little bits of time yeah and keep, only give the pupil enough what they need for the next sort of 15 minutes if, you, if does that make sense yeah then you can build on it and build on it and build on it and build on it and rather than front load the old pst test kind of wanted a front loaded lesson they wanted to know about all the stuff because he wanted to make sure you, could, you knew Stuff. But in reality, um, there's no point talking about fifth and sixth if not. The yeah, we're not, we're not going to get there. I mean, yeah, that's an explanation of what the gears do. That's fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But you know, if we're talking about, well, how can we get them moving sooner? Well, you have to cut some stuff out. Yeah. So we've already given what they need when they need it. Perfect. Sense, yeah. And then next left and when we're going to go more gears, then we can sort of, sort of bring that in. There's something I would have thought about like that. Yeah, it's, it's it's fairly like it's necessary a for the lesson. Yeah. But if you was about to take a theory test on gears, then I'd have to tell you the whole thing, wouldn't I? Yeah. Because you, you need you need to know because you've got a theory test coming up. But you know what? You haven't. You've just got to move off and stop in first gear to start with. So that's all I'd give you. So that's how you can just sort of keep it not overloading. Just yeah. keep it yeah. enough for what you need before we do more. Like that. Yeah. But how did it feel to see that through the learner's eyes? It's good, yeah. It's yeah. good seeing it that way. How you explain it and stuff. It's well, good. did you want to? Should we swap and give you? You give me a little go. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But if you like, you can. We can skip the briefing part and you can just talk me through the move of my stop. Yeah. Then you can go away and practice the briefing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, work. Work. But if you just flick the engine off. And again, I'm saying that because we're going to swap. What would be, should we get out of the car with the engine running? No. Well, and we shouldn't have it running anyway, unless we wanted um, the AC on. But then people do complain. We get complaints as a school saying, yeah. oh, you're running in trucks outside our house, running his engine. So, um, what's he driving? Because we've got to phone him up now. So, we've <laughs> got white cars. <laughs> We had three last summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it happens. All right. So then we'll do this little one, and then it'll be a better time, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly readjust everything. 
everything. <coughs> All moves are good. Everything beautiful. So we're getting me moving off. We're turn left. Yep. And then we're pull up somewhere on the left. It'll be a bit easier then next road. Yeah. There will be parked cars. What's going to be difficult is there's going to be lots of low curbs like this where most people have turned their front garden into, into driveway. a driveway. So I'm not, yeah, you might need to pull me up in front of someone's driveway just briefly just to get the stop in. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be quite difficult to find, to find the spot. space. So don't worry too much about that. Just worry about getting the words out for the stop. Okay. No one's going to keep tell you off for a. And, well, they might. <laughs> if, we, if we put up in front of someone's driver and they want to get out and there's a car trying to reverse, we might just move. Yeah. But totally. for the sake of this exercise, you know, just worry about talk through moving me off and stopping me. Okay. And I'm not going to be an idiot. I'm not going to put in faults or do anything stupid. I literally just do what he's telling me to do. Okay. Right. So I've had my briefing on Palm and how to stop. And now we're going to go live on the talk through. Okay. Okay, Howard, before we do anything, two checks we normally do. Like that. And gear, lovely. And start. Right. So, yep, stop the engine. Right. So, with your left foot. Yeah. Clutch down. Yeah. Left hand, put into first. Yeah. Left hand on the handbrake ready, but don't put it down. Okay. Right hand on the steering wheel ready. Yeah. And your right foot just hovering over the gas pedal. Got it. Okay. So now we're going to start our observations. Am I fully prepared? Is my left foot where it should be at the minute? No. Okay. With your left foot, find the bike. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pull off and stay in first. We're going to go left and then we're going to move up, uh, pull up and left and stop. Okay, now we're going to do our six point observation. Should I look ahead in my mirrors first before I oh, do all that? So, check ahead in your mirrors first, see if it's clear. And uh, the car come in, so I wait for them? Yes. Because yeah. otherwise I'll just do late, I'll be like that, I'll be like, <laughs> oh, I'll <feel> sick. <laughs> you know? Alright, all right, so check yeah. ahead in the mirrors. Yeah. Is it safe? Yeah. As a person. Yes, okay. There's a car behind me. Should I let them come past? Yeah, they'll pass. They come up quite quickly. Yeah, I don't want to get in. I don't want to be in anyone's way. Right, they're now passing, so do your checks again. Yeah, it all looks good. Yeah, so start your observations. Six point check? Six point check. Yeah, all looks good to me. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah. So, handbrake off. Bring the clutch up really, really slow. Okay. A little bit of gas. Don't give me gas. Okay. Get me Ham left hand in the handbrake and <laughs> on the steering wheel. Right. Top mirror, left mirror. Indicate left. Foot over the brake. Start turning around. Push and pull. That's it. A little bit of gas. Oh, I was on the brake. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. So I went over my brake, didn't I? That crashed it. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Right, just check down the road, see if it's not coming. Yeah. Check your top and right mirror. Yeah. Turn to the right a bit. Let's see. Maybe here? Yeah. So we check our top and left mirror. Indicate left. So if over your brake ready, but don't press it down. Mm -hmm. Clutch down. Let it roll. That's it. Now, foot on the brake. Just a little bit. Okay. Handbrake on. Into neutral. And put soft pedal. In. <laughs> Great. Our roll. All right, I, know, I know what I missed. Well, yeah. there was me saying, oh, I won't max the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he'd knock myself out. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a neck braced. <laughs> but I did it 
I yeah. did, obviously I did it. <laughs> no denying that. Um, I did it because just to, just as a, so something worth mentioning because as we've gone around that you said like cover the break. Yeah. And it's a common thing. You see, so now they're they can't drive, remember, and their their right foot is covering the brake and then it's like press the gas and they can quite easily get press that pedal and look and not switch their feet. Yeah. Because it's all new to them, it's all alien. So um if we're very prescriptive about where their feet is gonna be, so like right foot cover if you do want them to cover the brake, cover the brake, or right foot cover gas. But before you give an instruction, just make sure you know where their feet are. Okay. Because that, that can happen. Yeah. yeah. And and I did it as they're safe. I wouldn't have done that if we had a car behind us. Um, hence why, when you've got a real learner, having the location just right, and if we have got a car coming up behind, wait. Like, you know, like I pulled you off and we ended up with a bus. So you can think it's quite a difficult road to it. Not ideal, was it, yeah. really? Um down here would have been much better um and i might have just um jumped jumped in and taken the controls if i felt i needed to just so you, so we didn't get a heavy break with a bus behind us you know okay because if a bus has to break he's going to knock people down the, the stairs and he is a double decker bus and do you know what I mean we don't want to upset the bus driver um so yeah so good so you give me my little my talk through um you said about pressing the gas before the bend. I'd be like, my, I'd, I wouldn't. Okay. Not there. Because whatever it's, oh, that's a bit way yeah. quick. And then we've got all that stuff to do. Now, I know I did because we had a bus on, what you won't see in the camera, is we had a bus. <laughs> and it was like, just come on, we need a bit of gas just to get to the junction. Yeah. Mirror, mirror, off the gate. And on. There we go. So, yeah. So that's something you can practice. Um, on your own that's the beauty of this one to get the words out you can literally like you know you could be here like like i am right so okay howard um like to start the engine before you start the engine though what two checks should you make on it have it sure good start engine and now clutch down put it into gear one using the palming methods yeah sit right foot cover the gas don't press it left hand on the handbrake don't really sit right hand on the steering wheel and now left foot, get the bite. There, keep your feet still, you are prepared. It's like there's a section with some prepared. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna look at the observation. So look, in your, look ahead, look in the center mirror, right mirror. Is it safe? Give me responsibility. Yeah. Um, yeah, if it's, if it's safe, do six point check. Is it still safe? Mm, no, there's a van coming. Okay, so we'll wait. Keep your feet still. Try that again. Is it safe? Yeah, okay, look all around. Hand brake off, left foot slowly up. Now here I'm gonna adjust it because that's gonna go down and down the brakes. Because we've got a car. Yep. But you get the idea, that's what you could be doing. So you can see just why this road's quite